Good morning and welcome to Love Island, the morning after, the only official Love Island podcast. What a week we have got for you. It's the final week and we couldn't spend it with anyone else apart from myself, Amy Hart, my lovely co-host, India Polak, and back by popular demand, mainly from us, <laughs> is <laughs> our podcaster, Jackie Adajaki. Hey. Thank you back. for having me back. Missed you guys. Yeah, Missed you too. Good morning. I can't believe you made us wait all the way till the final week <laughs> for you to return, but yeah. we will forgive you. And this morning we have Dumped Highlanders, Lolly and Connor. Yay. Yay. <laughs> what a great episode like last night. Yeah. Let's get into oh, it. No. Let's get right into Let's it. Go. Well, before we do, actually, mm. we couldn't have Lolly and Connor here without grilling them. We could. So let's begin. <laughs> let's get into it. Let's we get into it. everyone this, and you and I different. How would you describe your Love Island experience in three words? Go on, Connor. Uh, <laughs> right, word than one, me, I'm so. going to go crazy. Okay. Right. Number two, I'm going to go different. All right. Different yeah. to the normal. Okay. And dramatic. That's a big word for me because... Yeah. Mm going into the villa, obviously you watch it on TV yeah. and then once you're in it, mm. like, you really get drawn into it. So dramatic. Yeah. yeah, for me, it's going to be short, sweet and surreal. That probably sounds yeah, really cliche. Like okay. But it was just so surreal. Like, I'm still just, like, deep in it now. Yeah. Like, is that even real? Like, yeah. did that yeah. happen? Like, it just looked like a Sims, like, yes. pop-up. It's like you've walked in. <laughs> yeah. Like, honestly, I, I walked in and I was yeah. just like, what on earth is going on? Like, but yeah, short, sweet and did surreal. you feel like a Lego person in the yes. kitchen? Yes, honestly, I can't believe it's real. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So, in hindsight, is there anything differently that you would have done in the villa? Connor, let's start with you. I don't think I would have done anything differently. Mm. I think, like, I went in there, did me. Like, I acted no differently in there yeah. as I would outside. So, I don't really think there would be a lot that I would do differently. True to yourself. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's it. True that's to yourself. Good. It sounds so cringy. Yeah. 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 It's true. You've got to be. Yeah. 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 You were exactly. real. Yeah. No, for me, there's nothing that I would have done differently in there. I just wish I went in sooner. Yeah. Fair thing. Mm. Yeah. We sadly heard the news on After Sun that you are just friends. Yeah, <laughs> Very yeah. sad about that. When did you realise that the connection was not romantic? Do you what? know what? We haven't even like had a conversation because in the real world, you just wouldn't discuss it, yeah. you know? Mm. But like, we obviously just spent after the show, the time together in like the holding. Yeah. And it was just very friendly, wasn't yeah. it? And I feel like that's where it came yeah. from. Because in the villa, we were just like in challenges a lot, like throughout the day. So I feel like we didn't really actually have that much time to get to know yeah. each other. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it was more after. What do you think? Yeah, again, like we said, we haven't had this conversation yet, but you can't force something. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. It's just been friendly. We like, get on so yeah. well as friends, it's like, yeah. there's that fine line, do you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. And also, I think, like, when you get that initial mm. spark with somebody... Yeah. We got along, yeah. but there wasn't that initial yeah. spark. Yeah, and that's what I want. And I think that's yeah. what you want. Yeah. Well, Definitely. I feel like because we're so similar, we both just knew that. You say yeah. that people don't have that conversation. My boyfriend, before he met me, if he was dating a girl and he didn't think the connection was there, he'd call them up and be like, I no. just want to say you're a great girl, but I just don't think it's going to work for us romantically. I really enjoy getting to know you. Honestly, like, I would yes. rather yeah. be yeah, told than sat there thinking like, mm, yeah. why have I been yeah. ghosted? Yeah, yeah, exactly. They don't text you, yeah, good morning. Exactly. And they... <laughs> yeah, but do you know what? That is actually like really ballsy to do that. Yeah. Because yeah. in this day yeah. and age, you would just yeah. ignore yeah. it. That would bring me to him. Yeah, you wouldn't yeah. even like block yeah. and delete. You'd just archive and then be like, yeah, yeah did they even exist? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, guys, speaking of sparks, Connor, we've been championing you on this podcast you too, Lolly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, we don't want the good guys to finish last. So, what exactly are you looking for in a partner? I kind of went on to the show. They asked me the question on what is your type? I haven't got a type. Fair. You know I mean? Fair. Like, I'm all about the connection, the energy, mm -hmm. the initial spark. Mm -hmm. So, yes. But what I'd be looking for is like someone family oriented. Nice. Good Deja vibe. Yeah, yeah. Deja vu. <laughs> good values. So, yeah, I haven't really got yeah, an initial okay. type. And that's made it hard for me, obviously, mm -hmm. going on to the show where yeah. they ask you, what is your yeah. type? Yeah. I couldn't give that to them. Yeah. So maybe that's why I went through the journey and it yeah. didn't really yeah. happen. Maybe me. you're like a sapiosexual, is that what they call it? <laughs> what what that 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 when you're like that? attracted to people's brains. Yeah. Oh, like you've oh. got to like mentally connect, like yeah. you've got to find them like, like intelligent. Yeah. But... <laughs> you know what? I'm a sapiosexual. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Our first it's coming out of Oh but obviously, you have to be attracted yeah, to somebody. Yeah, yeah. But I need to be attracted to their brain yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you are a sapiosexual who's family oriented yeah. and has good values, please call 08. <laughs> we don't have a number. Yeah. Yeah. Just it's, it's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. <laughs> Lolly, it is always tricky coming in so late. Mm. If you'd come in earlier, who do you think you'd have worked with? Do you know what? That's such a good question. I actually. 
I don't know because like God's honest truth, I feel like everybody is so beautiful that's in there. But it's for me, it's personality. So I'd need to actually meet the people to chat and like vibe and see. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, obviously, yeah. I, that's a very boring answer, Lori. Who do you fancy? <laughs> <laughs> Who do you want? No, I'm sorry. Yeah, no. I, oh, I really fancy them all. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. If you had to snog one of them right now, if I could line them all oh up. Oh my gosh, I can't Manveer, think Oh, he's beautiful. Sam with the mullet. Come on. Like, no, honestly. We're going um, all the way back. Guys, Joey? I don't even... No, not Joey. No, 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 no. it's not him. No, 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 no. Do you know what? Harry. Harry. Harry yeah. When Harry came in, obviously I only met him for one day. Yeah. But there was just like, I don't know, yeah. Okay. I'd probably snogged him. Okay. Mm. Harry. We'll let him know. We might see him later on in the week. He's now. out single as well now. Oh, so, yes, he knows. Who knows? Who knows? We'll soon find out the, uh, the gossip. <laughs> yes, yeah. we'll let you know. Thanks, girl. Now, obviously we have a lot in common. We have the same last name, Hart. Yeah. And also both... Ex air hostesses. I've been That's out so weird, isn't it? five years and I still talk about it every day. I love so it you know, so much. love it yeah. so much. I'm glad you're the same. Yeah. What was your favourite trip? Oh, when people ask me this, I'm like, I don't want to be that person. It's like, oh, Vegas, but like, I Vegas. Vegas. Oh, we love stop Vegas. No. You guys, Vegas. stop it now. No, I do. We love it's Vegas. Like you can go to... I know you love Vegas. <laughs> Are you the same? Yeah, I, I, I love Vegas. I literally go to Vegas and I'm like, alter ego. Like, yeah. you just go I there and been. it's like a fake world. Yeah, me and Rhiannon oh. used to have our makeup done in the afternoon, go home, do our hair, go out, let you repeat it three times, yeah. then go home. I love it. And then you're literally a shell yeah. of a human. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Did enough. you feel like being cabin crew prepared you well for the villa? Yeah, that's interesting because I thought it did. However, going in later, I feel like it was a bit of a shock. I'm such a people person and with my job, I'm like, yeah, yeah. I can take on anything, like yeah. I can meet whoever. And it did take me by surprise, I can't lie. Like it was quite difficult to slot in with yeah. the girls. They were all lovely, don't get me wrong, but it was quite, it was just I like, suppose they were already established. Exactly. It's like if you positioned out and joined a crew to fly home. <laughs> yeah. If you know, you know. Yeah, if you know, you know. They've already <laughs> made friends. That's what it is. Yeah, you're, um, you're, trying, you're trying to get on their vibe and they're like, no, you're not part of my crew, so... <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, guys, as we know, Love Island isn't just about the romance. It's also about the friendships. Connor, we actually had Jess in last week and she said that you guys were actually really good friends. You know what, right, Jess? We had a initial chat, mm. right? So I think we went sat near the pool and we got along really well and we had a few chats, but again, was very friendly. She but said Je she wanted to rip your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, though. Jess was like, because of how dry she is, She's like one of the lads, like the bands yeah. that she has. Yeah, like she's yeah, very yeah. straightforward. She would to get the along point. with anybody. Yeah. I'm like, well, yeah. so will I. But yeah, me and Jess, out of the girls, I was really sad to see her go because Aww. we got along so well. And I guess aside from Jess, for you as well, Lolly, who would you say you're gonna like stay in touch with or had like the best friendships with? Io. Okay. 100 percent And mm -hmm. someone who wasn't there for as long, me and Trey got Aww. along like house on fire. Aww. He's got quite like a dry sense of humour. Yeah. yeah. Um, so it's very deep, isn't yeah, it? We've seen the TikTok videos. And yeah. that guy has a quote for everything. Yeah. Me and Trey Aww. were really close. Aww. Yeah, for me, obviously, like I didn't really get to know anyone like that well, but yeah. Mimi, I just adore that girl. Like yeah. she always mm. just had my back. I felt like I was at school. Like sometimes she'd be like, guys, Wally's been waiting for the toilet for ages. Can you please just let Aww. her go in? Oh, Mimi, you're so cute. Yeah. yeah. We got along so well, but it was like little sister vibes for me. Yeah. 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 But that's nice though, because yeah. no, no, I feel like, great. especially in such a close environment, it's mm. one thing I got from being in the villa, it's nice to have friends of the opposite sex that aren't even yeah. like romantic. Yeah. yeah because sure. I feel like it's so based on love, like you're there for mm -hmm. love. So yeah. when you do find like a male friend, it's like, oh, we can actually just have a normal yeah. conversation. Yeah. And like, if they're a no bit pressure. older, they might look out for you like a brother. Yeah. Like it's, it's really yeah. nice and comforting. Because yeah. I, felt, I felt I was like a middleman, obviously being so close to Io. Yeah. And also close with Mimi. Yeah. I was in the middle. I understood just and Io, like how I saw it, I was there at Casper and Moore. Mm. Io went into it thinking, right, I'm not going to get involved with nothing. Yeah. They sat down and it just clicked. So mm. obviously, oh. when it came back to all the girls coming back from Casa, yeah. it was difficult because you couldn't deny what happened. Yeah. Mm. But I was also wanted to be there for Mimi. Yeah. So yeah. it was hard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was yeah. Hard. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you so much for coming in this morning. You're going to stay with us for the whole episode and give us your opinions because you've got very unique insight. You've been in there. You know everyone. Yeah. I wish we knew everyone. I'm obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you feel like you know everyone. It's oh, so we weird. do, yeah. Going we watch them there, every I'm night. Like, so I know you, you, yeah. you, you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Who's this weird? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The season of love is nearing its end, and yet the islands are still pulling out these unreal pre-love fits from our headline sponsor, eBay. Circular fashion is most definitely having its moment this season. I've seen this Christian Dior shirt on multiple islanders like Io, Joey, and Josh, and I wish I could get my hands on it. 
The retro design is phenomenal and it's one of those shirts you can count on for any event. You can dress it up or down just like the boys have done. The girls have also been rocking some cute archive fits like Mimi, Grace and Jess S channeling tropical vibes in this beautiful Rat and Boa co-ord worn by Katie in Series 10. Meanwhile, Matilda and Nicole have added this stunning meshky dress to the pre-love roster. Seasons change, but pre-loved is clearly here to stay. Discover your next villa-worthy look on eBay. Fashion fit for a second chance. eBay, sponsor of Love Island. So let's get on to the episode. What a lovely episode we had. Mm-hmm. It was Meet the Parents it Day. It was Meet the Parents. Which was lovely. So cute. Now, obviously, I wasn't there for Meet the Parents because mm. I had flounced out by then. <laughs> um, you were. What's it, it like was. when they come in? I just think it's a whole whirlwind of emotions that you didn't even know existed. Mm. Like, I was in there from the very beginning. Yeah. I think I probably cried once, maybe when, like, Danica left or something. Yeah. But it was never over, like, love or heartbreak or just having a bad time. So when I saw my mum and sister... Honestly, for about four weeks, I feel like I forgot what they even looked like. Yeah. Like, I forgot they even existed. <laughs> yeah. Like, I was, like, doing story times. Oh, yeah, I do have a mum and sister, but, yeah. you know, they're somewhere else. Yeah. So when I saw them, I was like, this cannot be real. Honestly, watching that last night, yeah. every time someone started crying, I nearly, like, welled up and started crying. Yeah. So it just brought back all these emotions mm. of, like, yeah. what it feels like to not see someone you love in yeah. nearly, like, eight weeks. Mm. It is weird, though, because I used to suffer quite badly from homesickness and I was worried about going in. Mm. But I feel like when you have your phone taken away from you and you can't yes. see anyone and your whole life is in that garden, mm-hmm. it is out of sight, out of mind. It really is, yeah, and, I agree. You know, Amber said to me one day, like, can you remember what your mum looks like? And I was like, uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Mom, but... <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah, I do agree with bubble. the whole phone you're situation. Bubble, yeah. You, you are. Yeah, yeah. It was different for me when I left. Obviously, I left in quite a dramatic way mm. and all my family came up to the airport. I remember I walked through arrivals with my mum just like walked towards me and she was like a zombie like she'd been crying for about a week Um, and I started crying she started crying and stuff and all the comments online were like it's only been five weeks and I was like it's been six and a half (laughs) 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 like people go away for months on end they don't react like this but it's you've Mm. been through such a roller coaster Mm -hmm. just to see a friendly face from home I think yeah you forget one day you are going to go out of the villa yeah I do agree with the whole like social media side I feel like when people do go on like six months breaks from like I don't know they might go travelling you have your phone yeah yeah. And you can FaceTime and yeah. check in, but not even being able to FaceTime, text, or just have a phone call to then all of those feelings being just suppressed yeah. and then coming out after eight weeks. Like, yeah. it's a really big yeah. deal. Like, mm-hmm. it's a really, really big deal. Beautiful. I feel yeah. like when you're in there, obviously, you know what's happening and you live it. So it's like 24 hours a day, every day. Yeah. Mm. But obviously, your parents, friends, everyone, love ones are only watching that, that little. Yeah. So it's like they're watching you and like trying to like gauge what's going on, yeah. but yeah. you don't know what they're seeing. Yeah. So it's yeah. emotional. But then I found it weird because I'd get home and I'd be like, my friends, and they're like, we watched it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, we're in the bed like this. And they're like, we watched it. And I'm but I don't Phone to my mum when I first got out, and she went because categorically, I went, Oh, my friend Molly says that all the time. She went, Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, I managed to pick it up from it. It's like you go home from holiday, but everyone already knows all your stories. Like, everyone yeah. Really yeah. Your photos That's before yeah. you get that. Yeah. Right, let's start with Sean and Matilda. Now, at the beginning of the episode, <laughs> Matilda was getting quite frustrated with Sean. She said, The grafties have done me dirty. <laughs> she was actually getting so annoyed <laughs> that even things like the shorts he decided to wear today. <laughs> I wound her up. There's Luma shorts, she said. Now, is there anything your partner does that's really mundane that really winds you up when you're having a row? Breathing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially when you're in your time of the month. Yeah. It's yeah. like, don't breathe. Is it just breathing? What else for you, Jackie? For me, it's the tea bag in the sink. Oh. Mm. I don't like that. Put it in the mm. bin. Oh, Dammy doesn't really drink tea. Right. But me and my mum, we are literally the same person. I'm just a bit younger and smaller. Yeah. When I used to live at home, mum always used to leave the tea bags in the sink. I don't get it. And I used mm. to just think, just get rid, rid of it. it. <laughs> just get rid of the tea bag. And I'll be doing the washing up and then I'm picking up like 10 tea bags. I'm like, why? I don't understand. Yeah. I don't have this, but does anyone else's parents have like a little bowl next to all the tea and coffee yes. making supplies? Yes. Yes. Dirty old tea bags in it. Still, still now that it is, builds like yeah. a mountain. Yeah. Why? But it doesn't get used at my house. It's just like an ornament. Do you know what <laughs> oh, I mean? It's oh, just wow. there. It goes oh. straight into the bin at my house. That's good. I would say with Dami, he's a very passionate eater. So <laughs> when he wants to put food in his mouth, everyone kind of knows about it. Yeah. When we're not really on the best of terms and I see him indulging in something that he very much enjoys, you know, it's nice to enjoy your things. I'm just like, you shouldn't be enjoying it as much. You know, right. like, yeah. I'm not yeah. having a good time. So that should taste like yeah. absolute yeah. poop to I you. Can, I can relate to that. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Do you know why? Because my sister says to me, right, whenever I eat crisps, like anything crunchy, she hates it. <laughs> but I chew with my mouth shut. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh. Do you know what it is? Yes. 
It's the nostrils. I think like the <gasps> nostrils. My mum always says to my dad, are you talking to your food? Because he's like, mm. <laughs> what do you mean it's the nostrils? Well, I think that's what it is. Like, my sister says like, you've got like megaphone nostrils. <laughs> she thinks that the sound just oh, comes no, out the nostrils. Surely. I mean, we have mm. heard a little bit about your megaphone uh, nostrils. Okay. Oh, oh, actually. Right. <laughs> Yes. You can't help it. You know what? It's not your fault. You're asleep. You were okay. Yeah, but on. I was all right. But the thing the two is... Pillows, you two pillows. Two pillows. So what I did, this was probably like halfway through the series. I actually went and sold a medic. And oh. I was like, well, how am I going to sort this snoring out? And they were like, how many pillows do you sleep with? And I was like, one. Oh. And they said, try two. Oh. Two pillows. I was more propped up. I was a lot quieter. You were fine. I came in at the quieter. right time to yeah. share a bed, yeah, you know? Yeah. So Sean and Matilda made up once the family got involved. Is that a thing? Like, with the family get involved? Is it nice? No. no. I always think it's a bad thing because, you know, our family, they don't have amnesia. They remember everything. Yeah. Mm. So I feel like something should just be left private. Don't get the family involved. Because yeah. mm. you'll sort it out within, like, five minutes. Yeah. yeah. And then your parents or your family just know everything and yeah. I just think something should be sacred, you know? The only time that me and Sam really get annoyed with each other is when I make us late to drive to his friends and family. His friends and family are from, like, two and a half hours away from us. Yeah. And I'm not a great packer the night before. I do it in the morning. I'm like, I'll do it in the morning, I'll do it in the morning. And then we always end up leaving late. So we've always like been snapping at each other and stuff and we're in the car and it's like silent. But then we see everyone and it's all lovely. Yeah, and then once yeah. we get back in the car, it's all fine again. So they don't know mm. yeah. they've been snapping. Mm. But seeing all the family makes us happy again. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I think it also depends on the situation. Like yeah. for example, Sean and Matilda, they are inside the villa. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of things appear serious when you're in such a tight and closed mm -hmm. space. Mm -hmm. And I feel like them getting that little bit of the real world, which was their family, yeah. kind of just made them think, oh, we're yeah. bigger yeah. about nonsense mm -hmm. at this point. Yeah. So I think in that situation, mm -hmm. seeing your family probably is quite like I'm helpful project. and just makes you kind of get back on track to like... Yeah, yeah it brought them back other. together, didn't it? Yeah, a bit yeah. of a reset. The little mm -hmm. things aren't that serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not that deep. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. Now it's time to once again celebrate the latest and greatest me, me, me moments from the villa with Sky. Mobile, the moments where our islanders have put themselves and their needs first. In at number three, obsessing over Jessica telling Io exactly what she wants. I wanted to say I love you so much. Oh my god! <laughs> you say, I love you so me? much, Jess. I'm so happy you're here. Why obsessed you... with you. I just wanted to. When you say I'm obsessed with you. Coming in at number two, look, if you're looking for a boy from Essex, you're in the right place. Can't lie, I love an Essex boy. Do you? Yeah, I love an Essex boy. Couldn't wow. be more than you. Can't get any more Essex than <laughs> Doesn't me. Doesn't get any more Essex than you. And finally, in at number one is Kieran. If the surveying doesn't work out, he's definitely got a future in speech making. It's something I've wanted to do for a while. I thought it was going to be just me and you, but I can't <laughs> wait any longer. Everything you said is exactly how I feel. And I don't want to wait to start the new chapter outside the villa. I want to start it now with you because these past, well, since Casa has been perfect. So, Nicole, do you want to be my girlfriend? <laughs> Embrace your me, me, me energy with a network that allows you to switch your data plan to suit you. Text PAC to 65075 to switch to Sky Mobile today. 12 month days plan required. For terms, see sky.com forward slash mobile. So guys, moving on, we actually saw Grace's dad. Mm. He came in with her stepmom. We saw him have a bit of an interaction with Joey and Joey seemed to think that he got the approval. What do we actually think about that? Because I don't think Joey was on the right end of the stick with oh, that no. conversation. No. I think it was a bit of a common courtesy. You're right, Joey. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think it's a nice positive moment. Everyone's family's mm -hmm. crying, everyone's crying, everyone's happy. Mm. Grace's dad is gonna be like, Oi, you, over yeah. it now. Yeah. You want yeah. some? Or just blank him because then it makes a horrible atmosphere mm. for the day and everyone remembers that rather than the happy times. Mm. But I think Joey obviously is always gonna be like, see? Yeah. So I, but like, I feel like Grace's dad was doing a bit of BDE, big dad energy. Yeah. I felt like he was just trying to assert his dominance. Like, yeah. sure, hello, I'm I a man. I know you, I yeah, know what you've I see done. You. I've seen it. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I was yeah. like, yeah. you go, Grace's yeah. dad. Yeah. Do we think in that sense then, like, Joey is actually totally oblivious to his behaviour? I think he's gone back to the group at the kitchen mm. and he's just trying to come back with a banter. Do you mm. know what I mean? I think that's mm. what it was. Mm. But again, 
That's just Joey. Earlier on in the episode, Joey had told Sean that if everyone was truthful like them, the villa would be a better place. Mm. Matilda called them Tweedledum and Tweedledee. What did you call them, Connor, when you were in the villa? <laughs> I called them the Chuckle Chuck Brothers. Brothers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God! Because you know what, right? I love them both, but I do think... I love Paul and Barry Chuckle, too. Yeah, it's, oh, who doesn't? Show. But I think that if Joey is in the wrong... Regardless, Sean will back him. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah. If he's right or wrong, Sean will be there for him. But mm. love Sean. Still. But why? Yeah. Like, oh. Do you think Joey's a bad influence on Sean? I think they're just as bad as each other. Because mm. I feel like Joey has his ways and they're not always the best ways. Yeah. Mm. But so does Sean. Mm. And no one's telling Sean to do anything. Like no. I feel like when Sean's doing his little wind-up stuff, yeah. I don't really see Joey backing him. Joey's mm. just there observing. Yeah. Yeah. Sean is absolutely doing it off his own. Yeah. Yeah. Off his own <laughs> I taught him that. Yeah. 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 He's like, mm. not saying anything because he's just so proud. Yeah. 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 My boy. It's too much to speak. It's his yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's an apprentice. Yeah. 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 I've taught you well. Go forth. Yeah, they are. On the last night with the vows, Jack and Joey will get up to you, here's to Jesse, but he'll actually do it to Sean. He'll be like, everything I've taught you in this villa, I have taken years to perfect. Literally. And you have perfected it in eight weeks. Go yeah. forth in your life, yeah. in the big wide world, and take it on your journey. He's going to hand him the button like, yeah. 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 Now, Io and Jessica. Are you? I mean, mm. why? Io's brother decided mm. to use this happy day, this happy, <laughs> happy mm. moment, to sow the seeds of doubt yeah. in Io's yeah. mind, saying that Mimi was more suited for him. Do we agree? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, where do we start? Not fully. I can understand where he's coming from because mm. Mimi carries herself so well, but also we've been there and we've seen mm. it. Like, Jess, their connection's just different. Yeah. Like, yeah. From the start, they it's just, just laugh all the time, don't they? It's nice yeah. to see. But yeah. from the family's point of view, like, you're just looking out. Yeah. And you don't see everything. No. You only yeah. see so much mm. of the day. Mm. You know? yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I have siblings were also worried that Jessica needs constant reinsurance, mm. which I mean, she does. But then her friends and family were like, no, she's winding him up. Mm. Like, she's a joker. Yeah. And she said, 10 out of 10 times, she's playing. Do we think she's insecure or is she playing? You know, I don't think she's insecure. Yeah, I don't she's think she is. I don't think she's, she's, she's but I'm not being funny, I don't think she's playing. Yeah. <laughs> but I do feel like it's not a bad thing to yeah. want reassurance. Especially yeah. like we've got to deep Jessica's situation. She came from Castro yeah. Moore. I was gonna say and she stole Aya away yeah. from Mimi. So she is gonna want that reassurance, like do you actually want yeah. me or yeah. do you want to go back to Mimi? So I don't think it's necessarily a bad yeah. thing. But also there's certain qualities that you have to have to be a successful Casamorian. Mm. And being insecure is not <laughs> one of them. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can't be an insecure Casamorian. It doesn't work. Yeah. But I'd be terrible. I'd walk in and go, you're all having a nice time. Okay, yeah. see you later. Yeah. She yeah. was like, I'm going to go for IO. Yeah. And that's it. Mm. Yeah, I think she's handled it really well. Yeah. yeah. Like, she's come in and she's been strong. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah she's yeah. not like shown any signs of weakness My or God. insecure. Yeah, a lot of people yeah. would crack, yeah. wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah, almost. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about Jess coming in at Castle and Moor, right? So I spoke to everyone in yeah. Castle and Moor. Mm. The one person I didn't speak to was Jess. And the only reason being mm. was I was sat in the kitchen. Yeah. Jess came over, sat with him. An hour later, they're still talking, laughing. Oh, wow. It just clicked. Oh, wow. I couldn't even put myself like, yeah. there yeah. because that was just working. Mm. Oh, wow. 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 Yeah, that yeah. just goes to show, doesn't it? Io's um, sister said that siblings are sometimes more scary than parents. Do we agree? Personally, no. Yeah. I feel like my mom and sister are on the same level. Like, I remember my friends and family day and they just both did the same thing and embarrassed me. Mm. <laughs> but um, <laughs> for me personally, like, any family is like... <laughs> Yeah. scary because it's like I'm taking mm. someone home and usually if I'm gonna like introduce a partner I will always show my sister first and yeah. then be like okay should we tell mum and then we tell mum <laughs> oh, that's cute yeah because I feel like obviously tell my sister a lot more yeah. and I feel like my sister is a lot less judgmental and my mum also gets a bit jealous about it sometimes and sometimes me and Shaq like we'll be talking and like we'll have yeah. like little sister and we're like my mum will come over like, oh but what are you guys talking about and we're like mm. nothing at all just some sister chat <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. in my family it's my granddad my granddad's the head of the family mm. He's very yeah. traditional. Mm. Like, if you need to ask permission to do anything, you go straight to granddad. Like, he's mm. in the family. Aww. And when we told him all that I was pregnant with Stanley, he had a little cry. He was Aww. really happy. Yeah. But he shook Sam's hand and he was like, you're not married, though. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. But now, look at you now. now, look at you now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> we also saw last night, guys, with the families, there was Nicole's mum. Our friend. Our we, friend. We met her. Yeah, we met her after sunch. She was very, very lovely. Yeah. She did say that she knew after five minutes that Kieran was the right one for Nicole. Now, do we feel like our friends or family have ever, like, predicted a romance? 
I have. I went through a little stage when I was probably like 20 mm. where we went to my friend's 21st birthday and there was a guy she'd been on three dates with and she tentatively invited <laughs> him along. I drank a bottle of Amaretto <laughs> and I was like, you two are going to get married. And everyone was like, well, Amy, you're really embarrassing. And I was like, no, they are. They're going to get married. Mm. They are now married with a baby. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. My friends met and six weeks after they met, they came to my 18th, I think, mm. and I went up to James, the guy, and I was like, so when are you going to propose then? And he looked really angry. And I was like, oh, I'm only saying, when are you going to propose? You're really good together. And it was because yeah, he'd already bought the ring and he proposed two weeks later at eight weeks. They're still together now, oh. two children. So yeah. I am the clairvoyant. Oh, 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 my gosh. Mystic Meg. Silla Black. Yes. 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 Black. Oh. Or just very pushy and people think they can't leave. <laughs> <laughs> They're scared to not follow my instructions. <laughs> Now, Joey's nun came in, so sweet, nice the nun. oldest person to ever enter the villa. Oh, um, interesting. Yes. Go on, nun. Okay. Um, he told her, I haven't had a girl like Jessie in years. He told his sister that he thought she was the one. Like, do we believe him? Uh, um, Everyone's like, uh, well, uh, uh. So we were in The there. silence yeah. was definitely. We saw the relationship that they had. Have. They have, have. Thank you. Sorry, <laughs> have. And they do. They click. They get along really, really well. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I can't fully take that away from him. But yeah. also... We're getting towards the end now. Yeah. Could he be playing it safe? But they do get along. Yeah. So. yeah. But you know what? The proof is in the pudding. They've not got yeah. long and we will see them on the outside. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I feel like if it's meant to be, it's yeah. meant to be. Yeah. 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 So. And Jesse is completely different from Grace. Like yeah. maybe this is yeah. just a new start for yeah. everybody. And do you know what? When Frankie, Joey's sister, was like, she's like me, she goes, no, Joey. Yeah. It's like, Obviously, mm. that dynamic, Jesse obviously has similarities with his sister, so maybe, maybe like, yeah. it's familiar and it's nice. Mm. And, and that's... he's so close to his yeah. sister. Yeah, so mm. maybe they are meant to be. Yeah. Well, we will know. But I don't know, I don't think Jesse's mum is... He, no. Jesse's mum mm. has got it going on. She yeah. told him <laughs> yeah. to respect Grace. Yes. Yeah. Which I Go on, mummy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And she yeah. went over, when they all went over to meet in front of the kitchen, she went straight up to Grace, gave her a massive hug. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that is lovely. It's real, like, girl code energy. Yes. And I feel like Go it's ahead. not rocket science to see that Joey has been a little bit harsh on Grace, constantly yeah. giving his two pence and thinking everyone fancies him. Yeah. Like, sometimes it's like, when the fun stops, just stop. Yeah. <laughs> just close your mouth. Yeah. Like, yeah. no one's laughing apart yeah. from, not even you. Yeah, literally. Well, what a fabulous episode last night's was, and what a fabulous podcast we've had this morning. Yeah. Jackie, it's so great to have you back. Love you guys. She's here all week. We can't wait. Woo. We'll be back tomorrow. Lolly and Connor, thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you find love on the outside we of the villa. Yeah. 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 And we will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm.